हाँ गोरंग भाई का मजा आता करने अरे जान निकाल देंगे मेमोरी कार्ड फुल होएगा आज तो लेडीज हंडी है बाबा अरे इतना ऑडियंस कौन है दही हंडी
No, I'm here. Excuse me, ma'am. Fashion Week in partnership with FTCI. We have the designer himself and his beautiful muse, Aditi Rao Hydri. Um, Gaurang, always good to have you at Lakme Fashion Week. So glad that uh, you chose the event to bring forward your latest collection. Um, what was what was it like coming back after almost a year now? <laughs> coming back after a year, yes. Yeah. So I have presented Sindur, my collection, everything in red. You will get to see the whole of India here. Beautiful weaves, hand painting, block printing, hand embroidery, different kinds of craft. Everything made by hand, everything in red color, which is a little difficult to make everything in red. Mein. And 40 ghagras on the ramp. Something new for me. I'm known for my saris, and this time I wanted to change. So, and who better than Aditi to <laughs> take this forward? Could you, you know, before Aditi tells us about what it's like, she's, I mean, you guys have collaborated before, but before we go to her. Secret. She's yeah. my principal, school principal's granddaughter. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so long, long Hyderabad connection. <laughs> oh, wow. Um, but what, tell us a little bit about what you chose for her. Um, yeah. So what I have given her is something very, very difficult to make and very few people we have to make. This is called Petite Point. This is done by nuns in Cochin in convents. This border which you see, I started in 2019 mid. I have been here. So, yeah, <laughs> took almost three years. It's a very, very finest of embroidery, lost, forgotten, jo we are getting it back. The sari which is draped as a dupatta is also same, petite point. And I have may I match the whole thing with Kanjivaram, pure sari Kanjivaram. Wow, wow. That's a lot of effort, and I think. Um, Aditi, you look gorgeous in it. Um, tell us, tell us. I don't, I don't think Thank I have you. A I, I also didn't know it takes this long. Like, I know it takes very long to make a patola sari, but this embroidery, I had no idea about. It's very beautiful. Uh, when uh, uh, Gaurang sir called me and he said, uh, he's very chill. So he was like, if you're free, I'd like you to do it. If you're not, okay, fine. I'm making the gagra anyway. <laughs> I was like, 100% for you because I have collaborated with him in the past. And I'm telling you, for me, I was like a little kid. <laughs> literally learning because he's so generous he would send me to his weavers send me to the dyer send me to the printer say go have fun and I really enjoyed myself and I had such a ball I don't know how he felt but I had a great time so anytime he calls me I will always be there because I also know his passion for uh, indigenous craft weaving textile is so real and it's so true I've seen Gorang sir sit in the store himself and show people, it doesn't matter who they are, yeah. he will show the beauty of the textile and the craftsman himself and talk about it himself. And I think that's really beautiful. I'm getting goosebumps when I'm <laughs> saying it. <laughs> well, we're honored to have both of you here. Uh, I'm going to open the floor up to any questions. Uh, because. Everyone. Everyone. OK. My clothes are so practical. You can wear the range what we do. You can wear every day. You can dress up for your parties, weddings, anything. It's very versatile what I do. So it's for everyone. So I work with lots of khadi, silks. Then I use lots of yarns in the weave. So I follow the jamdani technique of weaving. I work in 16 states in India and three other countries also. And I have started this work in the year 2001. And at present, I have more than 2,000 weavers under me. So that's the weaving. Then the embroidery. Every state has a lost, forgotten traditional embroidery, which we do. And then there are the hand painting surface, the textures, the kalamkari. And in this show, I have introduced something very, which is totally gone. Means it's not there now. But luckily, I got a couple who is following it. It's called Kodali Karpur. It's kalamkari done in Tamil Nadu. So it's called Naika Kalamkari. So it's hand painted kalamkari with a resist dye. So some portions of the design, we put wax so that the color doesn't go on it. And then the rest of it is painted. So you get a two-tone effect, which happens only there. And only this couple is able to do it. So we have started doing that also. You can see the pitted point. Uh, one piece was a Parsi Gara, the French knots. 
And one was a Kasoti embroidery. Then you have seen the chicken curry. We have done the Kach embroidery. The Kashmir is there. Uh, Marodi is there. So I have tried to cover lots of embroideries. My weaves are also there. And my hand painting techniques are there. You can see one Ghagra was a Cherial painting, which is in Telangana. So you see Cherial on posters, on frames and all. I have done a whole Ghagra of Cherial painting. Lal color ek mirchi hai na, garam hai, hot hai, red is hot. <laughs> thank you, thank you so much. Red jab dimag mein aata hai, ek lady ke liye kya rehta hai? Lipstick second hai, pehle sindur aata hai. <laughs> so beautiful he said, thank you so much. I'm gonna... Yeah, please sit. Back. No, not at all, because it's traditional Indian textile, and it's, it, it is made for the everyday woman. And uh, I do agree with Gaurang, sir. He really does make clothes for, for women, acro like across ages, across uh, cultures. Uh, and I think that's what's really beautiful about it, because it, they're very timeless clothes, and I enjoyed wearing it. I love traditional clothes. I love clothes that are, I, I love wearing hand loom. I love to know the history behind those clothes and how they were made. It always makes it more special for me. And I feel that is what really makes you feel like a true princess, to know the amount of work and love and effort that went into making the garment that you're wearing. Um, so I, yeah, so I enjoyed it. When she comes to me, she'll ask, <laughs> He literally says, enough. <laughs> All right, I think because the lighting is so perfect here, everybody wants a couple of more pictures, maybe a boomerang or two, um, so we can see the real beauty of the entire look. You start. Um, I love Gaurang Shah's work because there is so much passion in what he does and he truly loves his, his uh, weavers, his craftsmen, his dyers and I've worked with him so I know that he has an amazing relationship with them and he's involved in everything that he does uh, and I think that's very infectious uh, and uh, I'm wearing something that I learned today. He started making 2019 this embroidery which is called Pesach Embroidery and it's made by nuns in Cochin, and it's kind of a lost tradition which he's brought back. And that's why people like Gaurangsha are so valuable to us because they find these beautiful, you know, indigenous craft and embroideries and bring them back into our lives for everyday women, for us to feel beautiful, you know, and for us to feel celebrated. So um, I'm wearing a Kanjivaram tissue and this dupatta and Lots of traditional jewelry, not so lots actually. <laughs> A little traditional jewelry by Kishan Das. Gaurang, sir, as you mentioned that there are different different types of embroidery. Do markets, they uh, like say you that I want X type of uh, embroidery? Do they demand? Is See, this is what we have done is little rare now. It's lost, forgotten, which we are reviving. It's a bit expensive. And uh, now people will come to know because of this show, people know that we have introduced so many new things which was lost, forgotten, so now the demand will start. And look at the numbers of reds that there are in our Indian textile and our traditions. Like, there are so many reds. Like, there's not just that one shade. There's so, so many. There are so many n n number of shades you have seen today. Yeah. The shades of reds. From a light orangish red to a rusty red to a deep red to your maroony red. And in fact, like, in, in a lot of traditional dressing, like, people try to match exactly. The, but what he's done is he's just put... Any Shades red of red with any, yeah, Shades and it of looks so pretty. It looks very beautiful. Yeah, and it looks very organic. Uh, I was really able to saw uh, an amazing performance by you. Uh, tell us something about your today's experience. 
I always love walking the ramp. For me, it's like holiday. अंदर से जो खुशी आती है ना वो दिख रहा है देख लो. She's so comfortable. She's she's like Bindas. I can wear it to a sangeet. I can wear it to a shadi. I can wear it to. I was just going to say, you know, literally, I feel like waking up in these kinds of clothes because See, I genuinely enjoy it. See, she's such that she likes to dress up. अपने लिए, दूसरों के लिए नहीं, अपने लिए dress करना है. And I have many of my these kind of customers who like to dress up. ऐसा नहीं कि गौरंग पांच लाख की साड़ी है तो मैं कोई party में पहनो या कोई शादी में. No, they will wear for their office. They like to dress up. They should be comfortable. That's it, and she's like that also. Uh, who do you think is the most uh, fashionable actor in Bollywood? I would say the most fashionable actor ever to me has always been Audrey Hepburn, uh, Marani Gayatri Devi, M S Subbulakshmi, uh, Rekha Ji, many. And that's my dream. Rekha Ji ko dress up karna hai. Yeah, apart from this, um, uh, we would like to share. Do you would like to share with uh, uh, any upcoming project? Abhi, I like to. Let the project come out as when it's supposed to come out. Uh, but I'm working on a lot of really fun stuff, very hard but very rewarding. Okay, people get to find your shoes in the closet. In my closet, I actually wear everything. So whether it's like phatawa jeans that till today my mother looks at and is like, why? <laughs> From that to my shorts to my ganjis to my saris to lehengas to shararas to everything and these days i'm like my new athleisure is basically malmal kurtas and shararas and i go to set like that because i'm like this is my athleisure now this is how it should be i'm an indian and i'm going to celebrate it thank you so much thank, thank you, you. Thank you.